In this quick project, I'm going to show you how to make some maps using Python. We're going to be working in Google Colab, which is basically like Jupyter Notebook. You can write some Python in a notebook there. This is a really quick project. We're going to start out and we're going to install what's called Folium, and that's going to help us with some mapping. We're going to install Pandas, or we're going to import Pandas, and then import IPython Display. And then from here, we're going to make a data frame that has some fire stations for Nashville, Tennessee. And we're just going to use that data with these coordinates to put those on our map. So what we're doing here, we got uh, folium. We got uh, we're going to import GeoPy distance because that's going to be a later step that we're going to accomplish here. And then we're going to make a map. So we're going to assign a map to folium, and then we're going to have a sort of center point location, which is what these coordinates are. And then we're going to have a uh, zoom start level. So this could be. Um, more or less however you want to do it. I think if I redefine this to be lower, then it kind of zooms out. So if I say, uh, let's give it a nine, I'll run that. You see it a little bit more zoomed out. So I wanted those a little bit more zoomed in. So maybe give that a 12. These tiles, this is basically the base map here. So all of this um, and how this looks at nice gray scale. That's kind of how I want that. And I added a couple different things here. So we got the the location is based off the lat long um, in the, and this is all pulling from the data frame. So we have, if you ever want to check this out, you can say, hey, this data frame and then this column. So uh, data frame latitude and data frame longitude and then data frame station. Cool, so we even have a little pop-up when we click on these that has the station name, and we did that by just saying pop-up equals station. Um, from here, we just said display map. That's how we got this to output. Um, from here, one of the other things we did is uh, import this iter tools combinations. <clears throat> and then what we did was we're actually gonna measure the distance between these locations. So um, we're saying, you know, for these stations, let's get the uh, distance in kilometers, and then we're going to add a polyline to the map. So we actually have some points, and we have some lines on our map here now, where um, that where we're actually getting the uh, the distance um, outputted here. So pretty cool. Um, we could do some more things with this map, but the the most important thing I wanted to do is just save this map. To an HTML file. So when you run this piece right here, what this does is over on the left hand side of your file section, you get this uh, map.html. And when you download that, this is a cool thing you can just send to somebody who's really lightweight. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and just open this in my browser. And what that's going to give me is just literally a um, just a map that I can just uh, view as an HTML page. This whole thing is just an HTML file. So you can send that to somebody and you know, here you go. They have a map with this data on it and it's, it's all packaged together for them. So this is one way that you can make your map useful um, with Python. Now, the one important thing to, to note is that this data right here, if you ever did this with some other data, you might wanna make a pandas data frame out of some other type of data. And I'll probably have another video covering that. Uh, import some data from a CSV and then turn that into a, a data frame and then put that on a map. But um, this is just some dummy data to get you started. So go ahead and start here. Uh, but later on, what you could do is you could read a CSV in and actually use that data to input that on your folium map. Uh, but anyhow, I hope this was helpful. You can check out all the code in the description. If this video was helpful to you, please, please like and follow and turn on that bell notification so you see more content from my channel. Have a good one.